Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for February 8th. Um, I didn't do one yesterday because remember how I told you guys to all comment and I would get your energy? Well, it absolutely sent me a shitload of energy. So, you know, I had to, I had to, uh, sage <laughs> okay i mean i had to there was just an overload i got an overload of energy so i do appreciate all those comments but but damn that's all i can say so anyway we're about to start this reading february 8th what do we got for february 8th this is for whoever remember the timing is fluid because there is no clocks in divine timing right um what do we got for the eighth what do we have for the eighth? What do we got for the eighth? Liberation, breaking free. Somebody is breaking free from a difficult situation. Letting go. Letting go of the anguish. Letting go of the despair. Closing that chapter. It's over. It's over. The worst is over. It is. I mean, what more? that is the worst is over. Yeah. You know, I really feel as though somebody is letting go of a partnership that is no longer compatible. I mean, the two of cups reverse. It's... I'm not going to I'm not going to lose sleep over this. I'm not going to continue to fight for a relationship or a partnership that is too non-existent. Somebody has put in all the fight that they can put in and they've come to the conclusion that it's best to drop it and head towards balance. I got to bring balance back to my life and in order to do this, I got to stop fighting this war for no reason because I'm looking for happiness, looking for peace. Somebody is completing a difficult cycle. There's no doubt. It's over. It is over. In search of, you know, happily ever after. Extreme bliss. I, this, you know, why would I hold on to a partnership where there's no reciprocation? When I could have it, I could have happily ever after. So I really feel like somebody has made the decision to let it go seriously huh yeah shutting down emotionally it's like I'm no longer emotionally invested in this I shut down my feelings it's over I have no more I don't love I don't love this anymore it's like the love has died And I think it's been really emotional. It has. I think somebody had some sort of emotional uh, breakdown that made them consciously aware that it was time to let go, you know, because it was so emotional. We have these emotional breakdowns that enlighten us to a point where i got to let this go before it kills me. Before it does, before it kills me. Now I think I think I said ten of swords. This is actually the ten of wands. And maybe it's spears, and but spears, spears. I would I would consider this swords, but
It's like somebody has the power. Red is all about power. Somebody has the power to make a big change in their lives. And it's like, it's like they found their power. I have found my power to bring success. And this person has decided to shed the old. I'm ready to let it go. This is letting go, either one. It's I'm ready to let go and take back my power to bring success to my life. Yeah, I have no more desire to fight. Somebody is absolutely giving up the fight because they realize that they have other options that are more compatible. Looking for commitment, looking for forever. I believe, I have faith and trust that there is the perfect match. There is happiness out there. Somebody has decided that, you know, they can't, they can't fight anymore. They can't, they can't, I can't do this. I can't pretend I can't deny that there's no victory and success in this incompatible situation anymore because there hasn't been any reciprocation. Somebody has been living in an illusionary state of mind and they have been in the process of, of dealing with their own illusions and facing, facing the fact that this partnership that they held on to is just not compatible and I feel like we have somebody that has absolutely given up they have no more des desire to fight for for something that kept them stuck for so long that kept them burdened you know I'm dropping this baggage I'm dropping this stance I'm taking my power back and I'm choosing another option because I believe in myself and I want commitment and I want forever and I want happiness and even though this hurts I know that there's no victory and success holding on to this overwhelming situation that is getting me nowhere. So yeah, I feel like we have somebody that has a renewed faith in love after holding on to a false partnership, you know, waiting for somebody to reciprocate where this person didn't have the emotional ability to communicate because they had shut down and now somebody is like seeing it clearly okay i'm taking back my power to manifest something new into my life i'm not going to fight for you whoever this partnership was anymore i'm not going to fight for you anymore i'm not going to fight for this partnership anymore i'm dropping it i'm taking my power back i have no desire left i have no drive i can't do this it's killing me i mean it's time it's time for me to be happy so i feel like somebody is now at the point of celebrating it's like it's time for me to celebrate this is a one my independence it's time for me to celebrate my ability to move on, right? To bring success to my life. I see a celebration here. Maybe somebody is deciding, you know what, it's time to date. It's, it's time to put myself out there. I'm going to go have some fun. It's time for me to go have some fun. Yeah, it's time for me to be happy. Somebody is in the process of maybe they've made the decision or they're about to make the decision that, you know, it's time for renewal. It's time for rebirth. I'm letting go of this opportunity that is no more. I can't hang on to something that's not stable and secure. Time for me to start over in a new direction. Take risk. Take risks. Somebody is deciding that it is time to start a new life. To begin again. And let go of that warrior mentality that I have to stick it out with somebody that 
doesn't even want me. Somebody's letting go of that mentality here. Somebody has been through a period of self-loathing and uh, dis discontent, maybe feeling guilty for their for their inability to make the right judgment call. But now I feel like they somebody was refusing to wake up for quite some time, and it's like I don't think that's the case anymore. I don't. Because I feel like we have a spiritual renewal here. We have a new. We definitely have a renewal where somebody is deciding to. I just. I just want to be happy. I have to do whatever I have to do to be happy, and if that means letting you go, then goodbye. I'm gonna celebrate my happiness. I'm gonna celebrate my life. I'm going to have some fun. Taking back my power and I'm manifesting something new because I know it's out there. I know, I believe that it's out there. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to let go of an incompatible partnership because it's not practical, it's not wise, it's not stable, it's not secure, and I want it, I want it, I want to start over, I want to, I want to go my own way, I want to, I want a new life. I'm ready, I'm ready to start fresh, I'm ready to take a risk, I'm ready to let go of this hurt, I'm ready to let go of this pain, I'm ready to let go of this doubt. So I feel like somebody is taking action to bring happiness back. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. All I want is to be happy. That's what I hear. Yeah, somebody has been, you know, hindering their own happiness by not allowing a false foundation to crumble. There was a partnership that wasn't stable. It wasn't ever going to go anywhere. It wasn't. There was disloyalty. There's probably a third party situation. Somebody hung on to it because, you know, it's painful. It's painful when you have to let go of somebody that you loved. When you have to let go of a relationship that, you know, you were invested in, that you thought was stable. It's painful. And I feel like, you know, somebody has been in no hurry to... To let it go because there were feelings involved. But it's like now we have a decision. It's like I have to let this past behind. go. I have to leave this past behind because I realize that my future is bright. I realize that beyond this barrier, there is so much more. So I really feel like somebody is letting go of a one-sided partnership because they realize it's time. It's time. It's time to start over. It's time to begin again. It's time to love myself. I have let myself be emotionally zapped, per se. for too long or emotionally connected to a false foundation for too long I've let myself become a victim of this circumstance because I didn't have the confidence to go my own way I didn't have the self esteem and the confidence to recognize that I am worth love Somebody is making a decision to leave the past and move forward because they realize that beyond 
There is so much more. Somebody didn't have the courage to let go because at one time they thought it was stable. They did. They did. Or maybe maybe at the beginning it was stable. But it, it really looks like somebody is absolutely giving up hope. They've, they have lost faith in a partnership that really is no longer compatible. It's not. And I think that, I mean, there's no more desire to even invest in it. It's like, I don't even have passion for this anymore. It's like, I'm not even attracted to you anymore. Somebody is giving up a situation where it's just no longer. It's not even what I want. I'm not, I don't even want this anymore. It's like all of a sudden there's been some kind of shift where it's like, I see that, the, that we're not compatible. I understand. I get it. I got it. I don't want this anymore. Um, yeah, somebody is removing that obstacle that has kept them stuck. I'm not going to pretend that I'm happy. I'm not going to pretend that this is going to work out. I'm not going to be stuck here anymore. I'm breaking free. Somebody is breaking free from a partnership that didn't reciprocate. Put it that way. It's like they are definitely taking back their power and going after their own happiness. And they realize that happiness is beyond this barrier. And it looks like they're removing that obstacle. They're just letting it die. It's like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. It's over. It's over. It's over. Somebody allowed their emotions to keep them stuck for too long. And it's like, no, I, I'm done. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to fly. I'm ready to fly. So I, I really feel like somebody is deciding to move in a new direction. This could have, this, this, this decision could have been very spontaneous, you know, where it's happened suddenly. All of a sudden it's like, it is time. It is time for me to go. I'm ready. I'm ready to take a risk. I'm ready to take that leap. I'm ready to step over the edge. Both of these. I'm ready to step over the edge and face my insecurities and go find my happily ever after. So I really feel like somebody is making a move in the right direction. They're leaving behind perhaps a third party situation. They're leaving behind something that was absolutely keeping them overwhelmed, um, whew, very heavy. It's like they're dropping it, dropping the dead weight. I'm, I'm, I'm finding my re inner resources to drop this dead weight that I have been holding on to for no reason. So yeah, I feel like somebody is deciding to remove themselves from something that isn't meant to be, unfortunately. I mean, with that tower and two of cups reversed, I mean, it's it's just, it's not ever going to work out it's not ever going to work out and the only way that this person is going to find happiness is to really break free and take that leap and I feel like that's what we got here somebody is about to step over the edge right here you know and in search of happily ever after so you know that's what I see I feel like we have somebody that is Dropping the past like a hot potato, you know, it's like I'm not interested. I'm not attracted. I don't want this anymore I've got more than one there. I'm taking my power back Shedding the old to bring in the new and we do have a renewal here. We definitely have a renewal It's like somebody is now like they've seen the light See he's seen the light somebody has I See I get it. I got it And I'm good I'm ready to begin again. 
So somebody is definitely headed, you know, to a place that they've never been before. And the fool doesn't bring the past. So somebody is letting go of somebody in their past that they held on to, like, for way too long. And they're doing so because they're like, I'm going to bring success to my life. I have this passion within me that says that it is time. It's time. It's time to follow my passion. It's time for me to believe. It's time for me to go my own way. So somebody is. Somebody's deciding to, to go their own way. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. The journey might be hard right now, but a great view awaits. And somebody, like I said, the barrier. On the other side of the barrier, there's something so much more. And somebody has really realized that. Anyway. The journey might be hard right now, but a great view awaits you. You most certainly can achieve your goal. However, you must continue forward through hard work and diligence. Do not give up. Even if it seems hard, keep going forward. Even if it sometimes seems that you are going up three steps and falling back two, you are still getting closer to your goal. Sometimes you may need to take smaller steps, but do not stop. Every step takes you closer to the peak of the mountain. And when you arrive, the view will be spectacular. It will be worth all of your hard effort. Keep going. Keep going. Don't look back. Whatever it is that you are leaving behind, you are meant to leave it behind. Keep going. Because once you get to the top, once you get to where you need to go, once you get there, once you prove yourself, that you are not going back. You're going to you're going to get something wonderful. Good luck.